Hi, I'm Mike Brower. I'm Fernando Reyes. And we're co-mixers for Atmos Projects. And we're here today with Odyssey talking about their fantastic MM500 headphones. And they are fantastic. We, we've listened to all the Odyssey and I think our favorite for now is, is those 500s, on, especially for what we're doing where we're actually mixing Atmos in headphones and then once the project is all mixed, then we go to a studio and listen to it in its normal surround setup. But until that point, we decided that um, headphones would be the best option for us, not wanting to invest in a you know, big surround sound system yet. It's super important for us to have headphones that we can trust because since we're building the bulk of our mixes in headphones, we need to be able to hear the full range, especially in Atmos, where you're sending stuff to the LFE, even though we're not hearing the full extent of how it's going to sound in the room, we can get a very, very accurate representation in the headphones. And also, when you're moving stuff around in the environment and you're panning stuff on the ceiling, the frequencies are changing. So you need to be able to hear all of that to adjust because even if you're working from, hey, you mixed the, the song in stereo first and then you printed your stem, so you have all the processing there, but when you bring it into the Atmos and you're moving and panning stuff around, all of those frequencies might need to be tweaked a little bit to fit in better with the frequency response of the environment. So we need to rely on our headphones to hear the full range to inform our decisions when we're making our mixes. I could care. We've been looking around for headphones. I've had different types, and really, I think Manny nailed it with the 500s. So, and it's not just for Atmos. I mean, we're specifically needing those for Atmos, but I have a travel rig so I can go anywhere I want in the world, and speakers can't be in the travel rig. So, I have really good headphones and really good in ears, and the headphones are the 500s. I'm comfortable enough with those that I can go anywhere, mix, and know that I'm like really, really close. Until I really hear it on speakers, or my mastering engineer says, you know, you need a little more bottom, and then that just allows me to learn the headphones a bit more, what I need to do. But I think, uh, I think the research and development that was done on the 500, for my ear, z- <laughs> Uh, is really, really perfect. It, it, it kind of reminds me of my ATC-25s, which is pretty cool because that's what I mix on. So when I put the headphones on, I go back and forth and I go, wow, mid-range is really cool, bottom end feels good, and he has the same set as I do. So our references are the same as far as speakers and the same as headphones. Besides being co-mixers in Atmos, I also assist Michael on his stereo projects. So being on the same headphones is super crucial because when he's finishing a mix he hit me up and he might want me to put my ear on it and bounce ideas off each other and also if I need to check for any unmusical stuff like you know maybe some distortion or some clicks, pops, any sort of cleanup I need the headphones to be super accurate to allow me to hear that and with the MM500s I have no problem hearing anything in the mix musical, unmusical and they just look super cool, man. They're super comfortable, they're lightweight, I can wait, I can wear them all day and I'm, yeah. I'm happy with it. So we've got some projects that have either about to be released or already been released that we're really proud of. Can I name a few of those? Yeah, we just did a really cool single for this network artist Dylan Dunlap called Still Here. Uh, Michael did the stereo, we co-mixed the Atmos. We just did a very cool New Zealand band called Baloo Brigada. Michael did the stereo, we did the Atmos, that's for Atlantic. Um, A couple of years ago, we worked on a really cool project also for Atlantic for this artist called Ben Abraham. And now a couple of years later, we just co-mixed the Atmos. It came absolutely incredible. And we also just finished a Atmos for Bob Dylan. Uh, Coming out soon, won't name the record, but keep, keep your eyes out for that one. As far as upcoming projects, we just came back from LA, we worked with a very big band uh, to be named later, and um, they absolutely loved the Atmos mix that we did. That was a situation where it was 
I had to match the original mixes because there were no stems. So we did that, and then we mixed the Atmos together. Went out there just to see if uh, how happy he would be. They were totally happy, and it looks like we have many albums to be mixing, which is great. And um, we had him listening to the 500s. He loved it. Thanks to our friends uh, here at Odyssey. Check out all their products, amazing headphones, especially the 500s, and see you later. Later.